Alrighty, so in last episode, um, we had got a lot done on our home, but one of the things that we did was drain ourselves of resources, um, trying to build our home within one episode, a pretty big home if you ask me, um, and I'm down to iron, I, I've literally used all my diamond tools, and I'm down to iron, so we definitely need to go on a mining run. That's what I'm going to do before we finish our house. Uh, is just come down here, dig straight down, and try to get some more diamonds this episode. Um, and enough resources to last me to finish our home. And then we can work on like getting netherite armor. Now we can continue on with finishing our home slash guardian farm. Get rid of all this sand. Probably do another speed up of uh, getting rid of all of this water. Um, like we were planning on doing last episode, but we didn't finish. Um, so I guess I'll just roll the speed up here in a second. Uh, finishing up getting rid of all this water. Water and mining out this monument. Um... <laughs> Looks like we're finishing up uh, getting rid of all the water um, on the monument. There's still water inside the monument that we're going to have to sponge. Um, but uh, we have gotten rid of all the water on the outside of the monument so far. Um, I did grab all the sponges in the monument and brought them to the nether. So that way we can dry them out and use those to dry out the water inside the monument. And that part will be a lot easier. Um, I think the hardest part that we have left now is actually mining out the monument, but it shouldn't be too bad since there's no water. Um, I've mined these out before, and I've done it in the water, and it took a little while, but it wasn't horrible. So I feel like this isn't going to be too bad, um, since we do have, you know, all the water taken out of the way. Um... I've just been honestly um, placing all the sand and then placing torches at the bottom to get rid of the um, all the sand that I use to get rid of the water, um, like so. But I um, think what I'll do is end up just getting rid of the rest of the sand, and then after I get rid of the sand. Uh, we'll go ahead and hop inside this monument and start taking out the, um, the water. And then we can start, like I said, mining this thing out. Um, I do have the center here where this is essentially where I can build the guardian farm. Uh, guardian XP farm. Um, I'm not quite sure yet where I want to make these guys locate to. I don't know if I want to bring them up and over somewhere else out of range of this of here so more can keep spawning or if i want to bring them up to his kill zone way up top up there 
uh, which would be perfect AFK distance for this thing here, which I might end up doing, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'm not quite sure yet. We have to do some testing around to see what I want to do on that. Um, I'm farming wheat here for for food. We're, we're, we're pretty limited on food and, and re resources uh, trying to get this house down. It's been quite a project, a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Um, but I mean, we're, we're getting a lot of progress done. Um, we do have a little spot over here that I made an enchant table and have been pretty much living off of until we get our home here complete. Um, and that's going to be this thing right here. Come over there and show you. <clears throat> so this is where I've been living this whole time that we've been working on our on our massive house here slash guardian farm. I do have a little bit of resources, not much. We did get a power for bow um, from fishing. So we'll probably use that to defeat the ender dragon. We have another power for so we can honestly defeat the ender dragon with that. Um, enchant table is pretty much all I have here. A little bit of a farm to keep myself um, from starving to death while working on this. But uh, yeah, everything is going pretty good. We're getting really close to being done. I did end up making this um, world a server for a few friends to join that wanted to play. Uh, just because they were asking me to play, so... I figured why not let them on and, and play on here. I'm not going to be building and playing with them. I'm, I'm off on my own, like far away from them. Um, so it's still going to be a single player type vibe, but I'm just on a server with them essentially. But let me take all this sand out here and then uh, we'll hop into the monument and start sponging everything up. Alrighty, so I got rid of um, the rest of the sand. We also need to convert these walls into glass here and on the outside here, which is also going to take some time, but we'll do that after. I definitely want to just start diving in and getting rid of all this water in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Lot of water to get rid of. So now that we have um, most everything sponged off, um, we could actually start mining out the um, temple here. And as we mine it out, if we find any water, which oh shit, we already did, we can uh, take our sponges and sponge it out like that. But there shouldn't be much more spots that have water. I think I got 90% of it. So we should pretty be pretty decent to mine this out. No big deal. Like I said, if we do find water, I mean, we have 26 sponges on us. We can just take care of it as we mine it out. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Jesus. But um, we do have quite a bit to mine here. I do have an efficiency 2, fortune 2 pick. Um, that's the best pick I have. I do have a level 30 table, but... It's been uh, hard for me to get XP. Um, our future XP is going to be from this Guardian thing. And we don't have that built yet. So for right now, we're just going to have to struggle with an efficiency too. Um, well, uh, struggle for me. For you guys, it'll be a two second cut. Uh, but for me, it's going to be a struggle. But that's okay. It'll be worth it once, we, uh, once we're all done. Um, after we mine this out, 
we'll then have to uh, start transferring the walls of sand with glass. Um, I do have some glass smelting already. We'll also have to transform these walls to glass. Um, I'll probably start with this one first. Um, just because that's all I have enough glass for is this one right now. And then we could do all these walls out here. Um, I have a bunch of sand filled into those chests down there. Um, to smelt. So we, we should have plenty of glass to be able to um, glass all the walls here inside of the uh, the water. So... I'll probably just do a quick speed up or time lapse of mining this whole thing out so that way you guys don't have to, you know, sit here and watch me mine every single block, obviously. So, anyways. few blocks here and we are about to be fully mined out of the temple as far as this area comes and not the walls but we are finally almost there I did make a level uh, 30 pickaxe enchant uh, efficiency 4 and breaking 3 my last one broke when I was mining quartz for XP in the nether <laughs> so I had to make another one but that's okay, cause this because this one has efficiency four now, and that made mining this thing out a lot quicker and easier. But uh, if we run over here to these chests, we can see that we now have a lot of temple blocks to use. Um, I've also been smelting up some glass, so that way we can use this glass to transform these walls here into glass. Um, I'm going to hold off on transferring the center to glass just until we make the elevator and the kill zone for these guys because I do not want to try to convert all this to glass with these guys killing me. So we're just going to focus on the outer walls for right now, turning them to glass, and then we'll do the center later. Let's go ahead and put all these blocks away. And grab all the glass. And some slabs. I guess we just start taking out the sand. Um, I'm probably just going to use slabs like so. And then take the glass and just grab it up and replace it like this. Um, again, I'm probably going to speed this part up. Just because this is a uh, very uh, time consuming so yeah another speed up for this part
All right, so now that we have literally uh, converted all of this outer wall to glass and mine out the whole monument, got rid of all the water. Um, obviously, there's still water here, but I'm going to be putting grass there and that will get rid of the water, so I'm not worried about it. Um, we need to make an XP grinder out of this now um, and get grass here. I think I'm going to work on the XP grinder part first because I'm in bad need of XP so we can make like a full diamond set and a good diamond sword and bow to take on the ender dragon. So I need to go up just enough blocks into the sky to where these are spawning in here and then I need to make a tube that brings them up as well. So I need to grab some blocks. Um, we need more glass so let's get these buckets get some more lava buckets going get some more glass flowing um, go get some soul sand from the nether so that way we can make the water columns to launch them up and then we can start building this cover this up here for now so we don't get attacked by these guardians Might as well use blocks that we can get back. Let's get rid of all this. Alright, now find the center point, which is here. And here. And then we need to make a three by three around this. So boom, 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 and boom. So that glass is actually in the wrong spot by accident. But that's okay. It's all good. We can fix that. So we're going to take these fence gates and put them here. Again, we're, we're making the killing uh, XP grinder for the guardians down here to go into. That. The center part here needs to be infinite water. Eventually, we'll need a water source all the way up through the center, but um, and we'll use the... Um, the uh, random leaves in the water are there. Take this away. We got the center centered. And go so on the top edge. And that makes a three by three in the center. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, we got a little bit more glass and we finished up um, some of this already. Now we just got to place the last little bit of glass here. There's that. Now we just need to make the killing chamber. So let's go ahead and bring this up like so. <clears throat> bring this over two blocks. Continue this up. I'm gonna turn off shaders real quick. 
because it is making it hard to see this glass. All right, and then one, two, three. We need to go up one more. And then go up two here. Put a ceiling here. And make a crafting table real quick. Craft up some signs. And then extend the glass over. Alrighty, so as you can tell, it is somewhat working. Um, we do have these things coming through here and actually starting to stack up on some resources here. Um, we don't have all the water spots done with journals because not all this little sand is done yet. I just have it checkerboarded down there for now. Um, because I ran out of soul sand, which we will go back and get more. But it is working. If I jump down here. You can see it is working. And it's spawning mobs down here too. We need to light this area up for sure. Um, kill these guys real quick. Alrighty, now that they're taken care of, you can see that they're spawning in here and getting shot up. Um, I don't know if I want to go up there right now. Um, to show you guys, but yes, they are up there. They're going into the center and getting collected. Um, I just need to put more water journals. So let's go grab some soul sand and finish this, and then it should be 100% uh, dialed in and finished. Alrighty, so <clears throat> we got all the soul sand down there. Oh my gosh, let me turn my sounds down. So we got all the soul sand down there, and as you can tell, it's now working pretty good, honestly. Um, they're all coming up and dying. And uh, it's working pretty efficient. Uh, the benefit about this is it gives me cooked food. If I leave it like this, I can also make it into an XP grinder, which we do plan on doing. So, yeah, it's working pretty good. We finally got this part done. This was like one of the hardest parts dealing with building this whole thing at the same time of getting attacked by guardians. It's just the most annoying thing ever, but we did get it done. It's a big uh, accomplishment, to be honest, because these guardians do not stop shooting. Alrighty, so we added an XP grinder option to this. Uh, as you can see, they're collected up here, and if we come in there, they're hitting mob cap right now, but apparently you can fix that by putting scaffold and waterlogged scaffold, and they won't hit mob cap, apparently. I haven't tried it yet, but um, as you can see, this works as an XP grinder now. Which is really good. I do plan on getting a sword that has sweeping edge and it will make this a lot easier um, So let's go ahead and transfer our enchant table and Everything up here so that way we can do our enchanting up here at the same time of XP grinding And then we shouldn't have to worry about making an auto kill system because there's a mob cap So they should automatically die at a certain amount <coughs> I'm not really worried about that. 
And then uh, for now, we'll just spruce things up with prismarine brick. Um, and then eventually we'll build our rocket ship design in here. Uh, make like this all enclosed inside like a massive rocket ship and then make it look like there's smoke coming out of it all the way up this tower. And then build like a rocket ship platform down there. But that's future plans for right now. Um, you know, like I said, we'll just spruce this up with prismarine brick. Um, and make it look nice. And then call it good for now. Put some uh, grass all the way all on the floor down there. Change those walls down there to glass. Now that I can do that without getting attacked. And then probably call that good for this episode. Um, I do plan on by, for next episode using this grinder to actually get us a full level 30 enchanted diamond set with a level 30 bow and taking out the ender dragon that is my plan for next episode um so let's go ahead and grind um the bow and the armor and stuff like that up here and bring the enchant table up here um and get everything ready so that way next episode we could just take out the ender dragon so let's do that real quick well, here we are this is it um, this is the, the temporarily design. Like I said, I do want to make it look like this is a, uh, launch site for a spaceship and, you know, essentially cover this whole thing in smoke and then build a spaceship up there, uh, where the grinder is for the guardians. But for now, this is how it's going to look for now. And so I thought I was dead <laughs> until we finished designing this. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, turning out really good. We just need the grass to finish growing and it would definitely look a lot better, but we are done. This is, I mean, this is it. We're, we built our home. Now we can, uh, worry about taking on the Ender Dragon next episode because we did, uh, make a decent chest plate. We do have to make our bow. So before we end the episode, that will be the last thing that we do is go ahead and make our level 30 bow. All right. Well, I give up. <laughs> on trying to make the bow this episode we just keep getting flame so i'm just gonna call it here i'll save um making our op bow for the dragon next episode since we'll be taking them on next episode we also need to grab some iron boots and leggings uh the reason why is because because we need to enchant feather falling on our boots um the ender dragon is probably going to be knocking us up if we have to climb up a little bit to bow at one of the crystals. So I definitely want to make sure we get feather falling. But anyways, this is probably going to be the episode here. Um, I mean, we did finish our home. I mean, we got a lot done in this episode. So honestly, I feel pretty accomplished. Um, hopefully next episode, like I said, we'll be taking out that ender dragon. And uh, yeah, anyways... I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, like, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next episode. Peace.